welcome back to my channel it is tuesday afternoon yesterday was monday and i went to my favorite asian grocery market with my friend so i'm gonna insert that footage in now okay so it is four o'clock my friend is done at work and meet me here at my place i'm going to the Asian grocery store getting some things I really want to make like some sushi rolls or something um, tomorrow I will try and get some clips when we at the place okay guys I am back got a small little cappuccino at Kauai because I don't want to drink too much of caffeine so late in the night so I didn't go too crazy but I got some nice things number one, my favorite are these um, roasted seaweed snacks and I got some lemongrass incense sticks which I'm very happy about I recently started using incense sticks again because you guys I thought that living upstairs, the flies weren't gonna get to me. Oh my gosh, whenever I cook, they are literally always there. And it's the most annoying, disgusting thing ever. And I got some sushi nori sheets. This was super cheap. This was only 35 rand. And I really like, I don't know the brand of this. It's also roasted seaweed. I don't know the brand of it, but I really like how these ones taste compared to like the other ones I've tried. One kilogram of sushi rice was only 34 rand. And then I got a little thing of vermicelli, which was 12 rand. It's like, you know, that vermicelli um, noodles. And then I got some of those like ginger sweets. I really like it like as a little snack. And then the last thing I got was some mochi in strawberry flavor. I actually want to try it now. Like I love mochi, but mochi is so expensive. So I saw this like two for seven rand, and I was like, I'm gonna buy it. You know, I need some mochi in my life. They are honestly super cute. Look how cute this looks. So you guys saw I got some really good stuff and I honestly can't wait to cook. I love Asian style food. It is like one of my favorite foods, very healthy and oh, I just love it. So I just got back from the shops. I needed to get like some very random stuff. The recipe I want to try, I've been seeing all over on Pinterest called onigiri Japanese rice ball. So it's a Japanese recipe. Basically, I want to make sushi because I'm obsessed with sushi. So that is the plan for later on. I'm gonna go now and eat some lunch. Nothing exciting. It's literally just two pieces of pizza that I had left over from yesterday. I think I'm gonna drink one of my dope drinks. I'll show you guys. It is honestly the best. It is this like CBD infused drink. I'm also currently watching Down to Earth on Netflix. It's a series with Zach Efron. If you guys have not watched it i highly recommend it you guys it is one of my favorite series ever they recently came out with a new season this is how it looks it is so good it's all about zach and this other guy darren whom travel the world right now season two is shot in australia and it's just to raise awareness on sustainability global warming you know everything that's going on with the world it's very educational and i i love it so much so definitely check that out Evidence 
of Aboriginal habitation of Australia dates back over 60,000 years. So we don't speak Fugiyamaji language up here. Now here, this place is Fuyuburu. It means fishing. You catch all sorts of fish here. This is just some of the stuff we have. Okay guys, it is just after 5 o'clock and I thought I would start on the little, hopefully, sushi rolls before the lighting goes down because it gets super dark in the kitchen. So yeah, I just made my sushi rice. Yeah, let me show you guys what you really need for this recipe. I will also link it in the description box below. Like I said, it's from Pinterest, but I'm obviously tweaking it a bit. Oh, it's so messy. chopsticks from the grocery store mm. like I'm honestly so surprised <laughs> at how good it turned out this is my second time making sushi by myself the first time I did it was with my family but guys this is so nice also, a little tip, my knives are honestly not the sharpest and I really struggle to cut the sushi. So I saw in one of these videos that this girl recommended that you put um, sesame oil on, on your sushi rolls to give it that like nice shine but also on your knife so that it made cutting the sushi so much more easier. Hi guys, so it is a lot later on. It's almost eight o'clock i have this really warm light here so that's why it's super orange but i just finished the rest of my sushi that i made earlier on I'm snacking on these like ginger sweets i don't even know if you could call them sweets they are so strong but so nice but i really hope you guys enjoyed seeing what i eat I do not eat like this every day, to be honest. My lunches do not normally consist of eating pizza. I just had some leftovers. Normally for lunch, I'll insert a picture here. I have this like little snack platter that I make, which is very low in calories, but it's honestly all of my like favorite little snacks. Definitely someone that prefers snacking compared to like eating one big meal so i've really found that making those snack platters just works for me i really hope you guys enjoy this video and if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up as it really does help support and grow the channel and i will see you guys in the next video i cannot believe it's already december when you guys are going to be watching this video like where has the time but I will see you guys soon.